In this video, I want to talk to you about the decision that every CEO must make in Whitewater. In our last video, we talked about how difficult it is to bring processors into the leadership team of a growing business. After you've unsuccessfully tried two or three or maybe more processors, you realize it's not just the processor's personality. And at some point, the moment of decision arrives. Here's the decision you need to make. You either need to change your culture, your very way of doing business, or you need to let off the gas enough to go back to fun and limit your growth so you can stay there. The only way out of whitewater and into predictable success is to expand your culture, making it big enough to not only include processors, but to make the processor style co-equal with the visionary and operator styles. The values from fun must give way to the values of predictable success, like innovation, improvement, individual ownership, accountability, and sustainability. Wow, take a moment to compare that to the values that work in fun, like sales, enthusiasm, agility, determination, 100% done and 80% right. Those are very, very different lists. The change from early struggle to fun is easy, it's natural, it's even automatic. But in Whitewater, it's no longer about making your speedboat faster. To get to predictable success, to stay there, you need to build an aircraft carrier. Don't worry, you don't have to build a cruise ship. You can leave that to the companies who have lost their way in the big rut. But it really is that big a change for you. And all that changes why so many companies with unbelievable potential never make it past whitewater. Still, it's worth it. Making this admittedly painful transition will create more potential in your business than you currently believe is possible. Doing the hard work of synthesizing and synergizing the, vin the visionary operator and processor styles will allow your company to scale for the very first time. The path to predictable success is not an easy one, but this very reality is what makes it so rewarding for those who make it.